Good evening. A sheriff's deputy threatens a man with a gun and goes to prison for it. But when the victim tried to sue that former deputy, that case hit a snag. News 13's Gabe Chavez explains why that lawsuit is now back on track. You know, I was scared for my life. I was thinking I'm probably going to die right now. Mario Rosales was driving home in 2018 when he passed a truck, and the driver, then Chavez County Sheriff's Deputy David Bradshaw, started following him. The deputy, driving his personal vehicle out of uniform and with his two-year-old son in the truck, followed Rosales all the way home and pointed a gun at him. Deputy Bradshaw, in his personal vehicle and with his own child in the, in the vehicle with him, decided to follow Mr. Rosales home, block him in his driveway, accost him with profanities, and ultimately point a gun at him. Bradshaw was fired from the sheriff's office arrested up against my vehicle here for a little bit Are you serious, guys? right here just face my unit and convicted of aggravated assault and child abuse but when rosales tried to sue the former deputy on the civil side the judge threw out the case on the grounds bradshaw was a law enforcement officer at the time at the district court uh the the court decided that deputy bradshaw is entitled to qualified immunity that the officer did violate Mario's Fourth Amendment rights, but that qualified immunity shields him from liability. With the help of the nonprofit Institute for Justice, Rosales appealed that decision, and today, the Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals ruled in his favor. The court said even though courts will protect officers on the job dealing with criminals, they will not protect officers who are themselves committing a criminal act. The ruling now making it possible for Rosales to take Bradshaw back to civil court and sue for damages. It's been a long time coming. Gabe Chavez, KRQE, News 13. For the criminal convictions, Bradshaw was facing more than six years in prison. He was sentenced to two.